Portia Medisa as well as uh, Leandra Smida in the studio. Don't look so serious, ladies. Yeah. Yo, yo, you guys looking so serious. <laughs> Are you feeling the pressure already? Let me start with uh, you, Portia. 109 caps to your name already. Mm -hmm. This time last year, you were resigning from the national team. Mm. Now you're back and you're going to the African uh, Women's uh, Championship again. What happened in the last year? I mean, I, I didn't retire. I, uh, the coach didn't like me that time. So I, I, I was not going to bring my suitcase in the camp unless they didn't give me a call-up camp. But the story was very clear. I read it with my own eyes. And yeah, it but said, who wrote that story? Who, who wrote that story? Who said that story? I, I don't remember. You saw it, though? Yeah, but I mean, I don't remember talking about that. Uh. And, and you know, I can't say, ah, the coach doesn't like... Ah, I, I decided to shut up and <coughs> accept whatever was coming on my way. Uh. And I, I told myself, you know what, I, I love doing this. I will keep doing it. The next coach is going to come, you know, because coaches come and go. Now, I need to get to you here, Deandra, because where have you been? You've got 30 caps to your name. How come suddenly the volume is up on the goal scoring? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the change of jersey number. What did you change to? <laughs> number 17. This is like the, the, the official colored striker number. With uh, I mean, if we have to go down the list, Sean Bartlett, Benny McCarthy, Leandra Smida. Uh, <laughs> we also look at Bernard Parker. What's with that jersey number 17? I've always wanted to ask that. I don't know. Maybe it's just a lucky number for the Cape Town based players. <laughs> <laughs> Banyana Banyana seem to be in good hands with the two strikers that join us here in the studio. They're a little bit short. Mar, as Porsche says, Nyaba. 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 There you have it. There she is, uh, Giselle uh, Macherman. Coming into the airport, apparently they were singing Zeli Yo Lakardung. I mean, uh, that was a special moment when you arrived back in Cape Town to a hero's welcome. I was born in Darling. Darling is a small community. And um, basically, my mom and my dad like organized taxis for the people to come say hi to me when I come back. And then, yeah, it was really exciting to see everybody because um, they supported me throughout my whole um, athletics career. So mm. I really like enjoyed that moment. And that community even would take money out of their pocket, fundraise yeah. for you. Yeah, my mom and dad buy um, Functies gereel, so that ek is waar ek vandag is, uh. en dis alles te danke aan die mense van Darling. Let's take you through the race. Let's uh, talk uh, a little bit about how that gold medal came, because I got to tell you, I was watching. For most of the race, you're right at the back, girl. I mean, yeah, you are right at the back, and we're thinking, ah, here we go. Uh, we sent someone there, and it's a waste of money. And then, what happened? It's just that feeling of, you know what, Giselle, you, pre you track so hard for this race. Let's just give it your all and just enjoy every hmm. moment. Die specifieke laaste 150, 120 meter het ek so erg baie geoefen. Uh. Toe besef ek net, jy het dit nie verniet gedoen nie. Uh. So sit dit alles in wat jy kan en hart op net volhoud. Corbin, your dad, just remind us, because he did pass away uh, in the year 2000 and uh, condolences to you and your family, but just take us back to the influence that your father played in your cricket. No, no, definitely. It's been a big influence, especially on me. Like, it's also a big motivation factor for myself. Like, just moving forward, he's my inspiration moving forward. Like, he keeps me going through when times are tough. And, and yeah, it's, he's, my, he's my rock and my soul. And the opening game of the actual Cricket World Cup fell on a very special day. Yeah, I know. It was the day he passed away exactly 14 years ago. That's also one of the reasons why my number is 14, is for him. Like, I play, I play for him. Kajiso, yes. first of all, I mean, you were clocked bowling at 140 plus kilometers an hour, and you're 18 years old. Five wickets for 25 runs in the semi finals against Australia. Yeah. I mean, they just couldn't cope with 140 k's an hour uh, fizzing through. Bowling has to do with rhythm. Rhythm plays a huge part, and at the World Cup, I was feeling good rhythm. Um, I climax at the right time, and that just you know gives you insight on what is happening to the team. We, everything was going our way. Um, everything went my way too. Everything went Boshi's way, and at the end, we won it. So um, yeah, it's always nice to 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 bowl nice and quick. When we first had our hockey guests here some time ago, I think the men's team came in, we were trying to think of a nickname because there's Bafana, there's Amapogopogo, there's uh, uh, Amakroko Kroko. There's so many 
nicknames for the national teams here. But we couldn't come up with one for hockey. And then Shampunaiza did. I don't know if you guys like it, so tell me. Amastix. What do you think of Amastix? <laughs> It's catchy, <laughs> yes, we, we, we heard, yes, I, I think I like it, yeah. I'm a sticks. We're going to have to talk to our team and get no, a vote. No, you, yeah, you can decide now. <laughs> yes, we're happy, we're going to be called Amma Sticks from here okay, on I'll in. try it out. Here I come, the Amma Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, yay! <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> there you have it. Salt, happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, jelly, turkey, Amma Sticks. How does it feel? Like, uh, <laughs> like male abuse. You know when those guys claim, Are you really out of breath? Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Ha, ha, ha. We're not finished, though. Okay, but no, 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 no. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna kill our shampoo nizer. And I didn't even get a chance to just warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you don't date a guy on a six-pack? <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> Look, when you buy a car, there's a standard requirement, uh. and there are optional extras, uh. and there are some things that you don't compromise on. So? So, it has to go like that. I'm a bum. Like that. Ah. You want to <laughs> <laughs> My gents, the captain, former captain of Orlando Pirates, is here representing them. <laughs> Kunomlaiz on Yana and Funubanigeza as Team Kiona to take home.